What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Shep's Garage video. Today we are gonna I'm gonna be telling you guys some hidden features or hidden details about the Mark 8 GTI that you may not have known um, by just looking at it and spending some time with it. After owning this car for I think I'm on or think I'm on seven or eight months at this point, I have found a lot of hidden details are hidden cool features about this car that most people don't really know about it. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Before I tell you guys some of the details, I just want to give a big shout out to Matthew H. I'll put his comment up here. He basically suggested this video. I never thought of this video idea. He commented this idea. So I really liked it so much that we are going to do it. So if you have any other video ideas, comment them down below and I may shout you out and I may use your video idea. Uh, so yeah, if you are not a subscriber already, please subscribe. I'm trying to uh, become a full-time YouTuber and I cannot do it without you guys. So you, by subscribing, you get Mark 8 GTI content, which it is still, even this almost a, almost a year with these cars out, they're still not very common on YouTube, surprisingly. So you get market GTI content and a bunch of other car car content coming uh, your way. So yeah, what are you guys doing? Subscribe to this channel. Uh, so yeah, without without all that on the way, let's start well out with some of the details. For those wondering, these details are really, really, really like fine. Like you, most reviewers don't even touch on these details. And to be honest with you, some of these details I've literally just found out this week. Like, just spending time with this car. Like, I'm talking about spending some serious time, like months, with this car. And I literally just found these features out. So, uh, let's get started with the first one, which um, is pretty interesting. All right, so let's start off with this first detail, and that is with the auto di with the auto tilting mirrors. So there are some cars on the market today that actually the mirrors, when you put it in reverse, it's a great feature in my mind. Some people like it, some people don't like it, but the mirrors tilt um, um, down so you don't damage or hit a curb or damage your wheels. I especially really like this feature because there are some times when reversing out of a tight spot and with a curb and it's also really helpful for parallel parking too when you don't want to curb your wheels. After 6,200 miles, my wheels are not curbed and I think it's because of this feature. So if you go into vehicle and go into vehicle, and you swipe to and you tap mirrors i was wondering like so after i ticked this box i was wondering like what does it do so i put the car into reverse and the mirrors weren't, weren't tilting like i was really wondering why is this like the mirrors aren't tilting so why um aren't they tilting this was when I first turned the feature on. Then I saw, then I went on the Volkswagen forms and I found out that you have to turn the mirror switch to the right. And then when you put the vehicle in reverse, it's only the right mirror that dips down just slightly like that. Not the left mirror. I even tried putting it to the left side and the left side for whatever reason it doesn't tilt down. So it's quite interesting the way that Volkswagen did this because now I have to look at this mirror switch that isn't perfectly straight, which kind of gets me on my OCD. Um, OCD. Uh, but that's quite interesting. I never really knew that. It's quite interesting how they didn't just integrate it into the screen. Uh, but yeah, that's a really cool hidden feature about this car. Now another really cool feature is with these tiles or splotches of screen on the screens. I, I would call, the, I'll call them tiles. So one thing I didn't know about this car, and I just found out about this this week, but you can actually change these tiles and add as many tiles as you want. All you have to do is just hold down on the screen and you have all of these options down here to pick. So if you wanted your vehicle down where there's help, you could put your vehicle down there, or your telephone, or your help, or your setup car net, or whatever it may be. 
you can put it like there. So it's kind of like your iPhone in a way. You can also add a new page, which is very cool. And you can select the layout of the page. I, I never knew that this even existed. And I, it's all because of me wondering, oh, I held down the screen one at one point and well, this came up. Obviously, it's also the same thing with the it's obviously the same thing with these tiles here. You can like hold it and drag it to where you ever you want to go, but that's pretty cool. I never knew that was a thing, but it is and there you go. That's that's something that's actually pretty cool about um about this cool the screen. Sticking with the screen, have you ever wondered when you get your car, um, my theme was bright and I really don't like the look of this. When you go in the radio, it's all like this bright, oh copy music, copy music. Um, this screen was like really bright and I did not like the white look. Well, you can actually turn it to the dark mode where that turns it, that's actually turned like at night and it actually looks way better. Like when you go to media, it's now the darker look and I think this looks way better in my opinion but if you want a lighter screen you can have a lighter screen if you decide you want to or you can have it change automatically depending on your mood now another neat feature with the screen is actually within the climate control if you go within the climate control and go to the settings top up here you can actually depending on the temperature you can actually have the seat heating or the seat ventilation if you have the option Option to heat up or cool when you get in there are some people when it's a really cold day outside for example that start their car and the seat has to warm up and the steering wheel has to warm up and the car has to warm up the the heat has to come on this car you instead of faffing around through the screen you can it automatically can turn it on for you I think that that is a really neat feature with this car i it's it's i know most cars may have it but i i like it that it's actually in this it's a really neat feature especially how when this car starts up in the morning the screen is very slow and laggy so that's a pretty cool neat feature that they integrated i really like that i'm sure that a lot of people will know this one but i'm gonna throw it in there for people that don't but this car the i don't Big, big thing that people have been whining about was the traction control button. It used to be down here. It no longer is, and it's all in the screen. And the way you turn it off, you have to go to vehicle, then scroll all the way to brakes, then go to ESC system, ESC off, and then confirm. That is a lot of clicking on the screen, and especially if you're going to... Um, especially if you're going to... Uh, turn off quickly it was a button and now it's all this stuff well thankfully you can actually add shortcuts up on the top here all you have to do is just hold one and now you have all of these like available shortcuts you can put in so the I have no idea what is work that must be a destination on the GPS voice guidance you can do the sound, air recirculation, lighting. I currently have it set up to the start stop, the AC, the home, and the in the traction control. But you can have a lot of different favorite tiles you can put up here. I didn't even know actually there was this much actually. This is the first time me seeing this. Anyways, um, that's a pretty neat feature. I like how Volkswagen did that because they kind of knew that the screen was going to be a big change for some people. But I'm honestly, after owning this car for eight months, I really, I really came to like the screen actually. And so those are all some, those are some of the hidden features or details with the Mark 8 Volkswagen GTI. If I have missed any, which I'm sure I did, comment them down below if I've missed any. And if this video gets, it gets really popular and you guys want me to do a part two with all the ones that I missed, comment them down below and I will mention them. And I, maybe I'll shout some people out for all the people for all the ones that people commented that I missed. So that'll be a cool part two video to this mini, 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 mini series. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.